Hey guys, this is going to be a tutorial on how to do Hello World in x86 assembly um, using Intel, Intel Syntax uh, and we're going to be compiling with Massim. Uh, this is going to be for Windows because I, I've noticed that all the Hello World um, assembly pro, uh, programs that people upload to YouTube are up, up, um, for Linux. And this, this clearly ain't Linux, so we're going to have to do it a different way, but anyway so um, this does use some uh, includes I, I was trying to find one a uh, way that doesn't and use includes like it's using interrupts but that doesn't work um, uh, there's no way to do sys sys calls like in us uh, in, in Linux so we're gonna have to do this but anyway um, right here we've got our um, <clears throat> we've got our uh, our batch file to compile it once we actually make it um, I was I'll say I, I just wrote it beforehand to beforehand to save you guys the trouble of watching me do that but anyway let's uh, start let's make our assembly file hello world .asm. there we go yes I want to change it and okay now all right, now we gotta set this up. So 386. Um, uh, and then we gotta do. Let me think. Uh, uh, option. Um, oh wait, no, not option. It's model. Model. Standard call. Um, standard call. What was it? Uh, standard call. It's something. Oh, oh, wait, no, no, no. It's it's flat, flat standard call, standard call. There we go. And then you do option case map none. There we go. <laughs> All right. So now now is where we include the the the, the libraries that we need. So we're we're gonna do um we're gonna do include um. And this is for Massim, so if you're not using Massim, then it, it, it this won't work. But uh, if you guys want to know how to, if you want, if you guys don't know how to install Massim and you want to to learn how, I c you just let me know in the comments and I'll make a video on how to do that. But anyway, let's just do Massim 32, <clears throat> and then uh, include Massim 32. Dot Include, and then we gotta also include Massim 32. We also gotta include kernel 32. So include kernel 32. Not include, and then we gotta um, include the library. So in, include lib Massim 32. Include uh, Massim 32. Lib Oh wait, no, not not include. I <laughs> I meant to put lib, and then we could just copy this and do um kernel kernel thirty two. There we go. And now we get on to the message. So we're gonna do data. Uh, then we're gonna um put in we're gonna put in our our message. So we're just gonna say message defined by um, hello world and then at the end we can put 10 because that's the the byte for uh, for a new line character and then down here we can do our code um, start and now uh, wait actually wait oh, let's let's do the end first so we do end and then go to start so there we go now we got to um now what we gotta do is we've gotta do two calls. We gotta do one call for the um, actual writing, for the actual uh, printing of the message, and then we also gotta call to end, uh, do a call to exit the process. So first of all, um, we do call standard out. But for right now, there are no arguments specified. So what we gotta do is we gotta um, load effective address um, uh, EAX message 
and that will load um, the <clears throat> the memory address for he for the Hello World um, array into EAX, and then we push it. I'm not exactly sure why we push it and why that that makes it um, go into the argument, but I mean, I, I'm I'm still learning about assembly, so or well, uh, maybe one day I'll know. But anyway, so now now we've got the the uh, the message argument pushed. Um, it, it's loaded into the uh, EAX uh, key, uh, the EAX register, and then we push it, and then that will um, that will. Be, uh, that will be like that'll be the, the argument for standard out. So now, um, well, we don't really need anything in EAX, EAX anymore. So just to be nice and tidy, we can just move um, EAX zero and I guess push it again. I'm not. Uh, I guess yeah, you push it again. Why not? And then, then we gotta call um, ex exit process. And then we're done. Now let's let's save it. And um, over here we got our um, ASM folder opened up. So now we just run the batch file to compile it. <clears throat> there we go. It's compiled. And now we run hello world.exe. And there you go. Hello world worked perfectly but yeah hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching if you want to see more stuff like this let me know in the comments and yeah uh goodbye